Hey you guys, so this is a follow-up video about the Luxkin I IPL at home laser hair removal device. Um, so I've been using it for, I skipped this week, I'm gonna have to, well I'm not skipping it, I'm gonna do a treatment tonight probably, but um, I usually do them on Wednesdays. Um, I've been kind of cheating and doing them twice a week which you can do if you find that it's not working for you but after reviewing some youtube videos um made by people who said that it wasn't working for them or it didn't work for them and also hearing from um well yolanda in the comments <laughs> i was gonna say some of you but really it was just one person i hope she doesn't mind me shouting her out but in my other video someone said that's what i should have said someone said um that she had done the treatments for maybe like a year or something and they just didn't work for her so i was like you know what i'm gonna step things up and i'm gonna do twice a week and see if that makes a difference so um in a word yes oh well, i don't know what would have happened with once a week but twice a week does seem to be effective on my legs in particular um now, I had been using the device on level 3, um, but I accidentally put it on level 4 and burned myself. So, um, in uh, like maybe it was like my ankle area where I knew immediately that I'd burned myself because, you know, like it made like a light mark, but up and like up and down my left leg, um, I'd say about a week after I actually did the treatment, I um, actually now have, I, I got um, uh, burn marks like up and down, so it looks like tiger stripes on my leg. Um, it's supposed to go away, but at least I can feel like on the bright side, you know what, this is probably going to work because I burned the crap out of my skin. Um, so in terms of well it's just the left leg the right leg i did on the right setting and you know what while we're talking about that if you've got brown skin be careful because brown skin is more susceptible to burning and it may not um show up right away as a burn mark but you know it comes later um in some cases and also they do warn you that you could have like you know your skin might flake or um do some things but don't worry it's gonna like um you know, uh, exfoliate off or whatever eventually. So I'm thinking that's gonna, what's gonna happen with these tiger stripey burn mark things I've got on my leg. Um, on the bright side, uh, yeah, like, so as I mentioned before, the hair in my legs was sparse, 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 however you say that word. There wasn't much, like the hair on my legs doesn't grow very fast, um, and it grows in light. But it does grow in most definitely. Um, and that's because I had been waxing. Well, I went back to shaving because you have to shave in order to um, use the um, hair removal, laser hair removal. Um, so I went back to shaving and, um, uh, you know, like when you shave, your hair grows back faster because instead of removing the hair from the root, you're removing just like cutting this cutting the hair at the surface so um my hair my hair like hasn't really grown back in um I have these individual hairs like randomly located um across my legs but um I'm looking at my leg now um yeah like it hasn't really grown in that much so I think it's really working on my legs I think it's also working under my arms because the hair hasn't grown back quickly at all. Um, I have a little bit of hair growth now, but like, you know, like after a week, I probably would have been seeing more hair growth than I see now. Actually, it's been like a couple weeks. I, I think it's been a couple weeks. Um, this is probably week three. So, um, yeah, um, I, it seems like it's working to me. I'm going to keep using it. Um, this week I'll, I will only do one treatment just because I just haven't felt like doing it. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I'm going to continue to keep you posted. Um, things you should remember or like know going into using this treatment um, or this treatment device 
wear sunglasses. They say it's safe for your eyes because um, it's designed to be used at home. But, um, and it is, but um, it's still very bright when it flashes. You know, you press it against your skin and the light flashes. Um, yeah, wear sunglasses. Um, uh, what else? Obviously, don't look directly at the light. Um, you have to shave before each use. Um, I mean, Nair might work. Um, but just I you follow the directions and shave, basically. Um, it does feel uncomfortable. It burns a little bit. Like, it's not like an excruciating burn, but it's like a little... You definitely feel a little zap. Um, uh, it's not like electrocution. It's just like a warm, like kind of a hot sensation. But it's tolerable. It's way less painful than waxing, I will tell you that. Um, although waxing isn't so bad for me on my legs, but it's still like... This is less painful. Um, if you're brown, definitely start on like level one or two. Start with level one and see how that feels. Then move up. Um, I'm so glad I didn't start on level five like this lady on YouTube did. But she is pale with red hair. And this technique does not work as well with red hair and blonde hair. Because it needs the contrast between the hair and the skin. Um... So in theory, like if you're brown and there's a lot of contrast between your hair and your skin, it probably will work for you. Um, but I don't know, like some people say it doesn't work for them. Um, I'm seeing results, I think. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted. Um, like there, like parts of my, like giant swaths of my legs just don't really have hair like that. And it's growing slower. Um, so... Yeah, but I can tell because like so, like the the individual hairs that are growing, they're like they've grown in pretty quickly. Um, it's just there's few fewer of them. So anyway, yeah, this is working. Even on the leg, I didn't burn. It's working. Um, that's pretty much that. Um, I'm trying to think of things that you might want to know. Um, don't start on level five. Do not, do not, do not do that. Particularly if you are melanated, don't do that. Um, you're liable to burn yourself. Like it's uncomfortable enough on level three, on level four. Like I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Um, three is going to work just fine for me. Um, and yeah, that's kind of that. I probably will continue to do it twice a week. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted as it goes. If you got questions about this, let me know um, in the comments. Um, and if you want to know where I got it, well, I mean, I'll put in, I'll put the website link in there. Um, but yeah, it was about $50, $55 for the device. Um, it arrived within like two weeks, I'll say. And it's pretty easy to use. Um... I should have some footage of myself using it. Um, yeah, I'll insert that here. Um, unless I deleted that video. And if I did delete it, then maybe I'll make another one. Um, other than that, yeah, that's it. So you know what, guys? I'm going to see you in the next video. I'm going to do a chit-chat right after this because I'm kind of feeling myself. I'm feeling this makeup. It's Pat McGrath um, from the Golden Opulence palette. And this 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 liner looks uh great. It is... The Opulence MD is Opulence. I think it's also called Opulence. The lashes that are designed by the doctor, um, a black female doctor. Um, that's what this is. And the liner is the metallic liner or the um, magnetic liner. But it has like a bluish hue. I love it. Like I love the way it feel felt when I was putting it on. Um, I feel like the magnetic liners are just like so smooth and creamy and rich and, um, yeah, this is like by far a superior product to the magnetic lashes you get in the store. Let me tell you, because I did get some of those, um, and they like the pull isn't as strong. Um, these lashes are like just a superior quality thickness, um, and the liner just feels even more luxurious. I just, yeah. I'm in love and I'm going to get some more styles of this, um, from this, um, uh, brand of lashes. 
probably this one is just like sitting above my oh see how that um yeah in my vlog so i did a little vlog for this for oh now that feels loose which is interesting um because like the pull is really strong yeah okay i'm like does it weaken over time actually you know what Let me find out this magnetic pull weekends over time. Um, anyway, that's not, that's not what this video is about. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll do a separate video reviewing the lash. There we go. Um, but yeah, they're awesome. I love them. My cousin put me onto them, so I'm going to... I mean, I'd seen ads for them, but she actually got them, and she's on their website. I'm not going to tell you which lady she is, because I'm not going to out my cousin like that, um, because I know how some of y'all are, but, um, she probably wouldn't mind, but, um, yeah, she's, um, an affiliate, and I might become an affiliate too, but I'm going to drop her link, um, even though she's, like, in Maryland and didn't even invite me, um, whatever, like, I don't, I don't, okay, whatever. Um, I'm going to drop her link so you guys support my cousin shop through her link this, this time around. I'm probably going to get my own so you can buy through me later. But, um, yeah, um, so I'll include that in the bio for the lashes and, or in the, uh, the bio, I'm thinking about Instagram. I'll, I'll include that in the description for the lashes and, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care, be well, stay clay, stay, stay clay, stay, stay safe, stay clean, stay organized. Bye now.